Hello everyone and welcome back to Brooke Speed Bazaar. My name is Brooke and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys what's in my makeup bag. Obviously the fungal acne edition. Roll the footage. So oddly enough, I don't actually have a real makeup bag that I use every day, and I no longer take my makeup bag with me. I actually put it into my travel case. This is the one I take whenever I go on vacation. I really want you guys to tell me, do you guys actually take a makeup bag with you everywhere these days? If you do, drop a purse emoji in the comments below. And if you only do it when you travel like me, drop an airplane emoji in the comments below because I'm very curious to know what you guys are up to with that. Let's do this. All right, so I'm not gonna lie. I gotta get this out of the way first. This is my makeup brush pouch, and when I travel, I definitely take my brushes in a separate pouch like this so that they don't get crinkled and messed up while they're riding around in this big pouch. Make sure you guys stay tuned because I'm going to go through these in just a little bit. All right, guys, so the first item that I picked up from my makeup bag is my Kevin Aquan contour book. It is volume number three, and I take this with me everywhere. It's definitely the bulkiest item that I pack, but one of the reasons that I love to take it is because I use these three contour shades almost every single day for either my face contour or something with my eye makeup. And it also has this giant mirror in it. So if I was going somewhere where I wasn't gonna have access to a really good bathroom mirror or good lighting, I can literally sit in front of the window with this mirror propped up and it's the perfect place to do my makeup. But what I really love about this book is that it's got all three of the Kevin Aquan sculpting contour shades. So you've got light, medium, and deep all right here. And it's such a good value because each of these is pretty expensive on their own, but then within the book, you get all three of them, plus these extra products, which I can't use because they're not fungal acne safe. However, I can give them, like pop them out and give them to someone else if I wanted to. Obviously, I haven't done that. They just sit here. But with this, you get a lot of value for your money. So the second product that I always take with me is the Swipe Flesh Compact. It's the only other thing that has a little mirror in it. I'll usually throw this one actually into my bag, like my purse that I'm taking with me wherever I go that day, just because it is the only mirror that I'll have on hand in case I wanna do some touch-ups with my makeup. This is the shade Jiggly. I use this one as a blush and a lip color pretty much every day of my life. Another product that I like to take with me by Flesh, and I wouldn't necessarily use this every single day, but it is just an option, is the Flesh Pot. This is their original color. It's got orange and pink sparkly tones. It's like this little gel concoction. And it's just something that's really good if you wanna add a pretty little bit of highlight to your cheekbones, or if you want to mix up one of your eyeshadows and make it kind of like gooey, glossy looking, this stuff is like a good way to get that effect. And so I like to just have it in my bag in case I wanna do something different with my eye makeup. By the way, if you guys wanna see this product in action, you can click right now to watch my glossy, dewy, fungal acne friendly makeup tutorial. You guys may have heard me talk about this in a recent video. I covered it in my eyeshadow video, but this is the Color Tattoo Maybelline 24 Hour Eyeshadow Pot. This is the color High Roller. This is one that I probably use almost every single day of my life, and I obviously would take it with me. I actually like to mix this with the Flesh Pot together to get like a glossy eye thing. That's actually what I have going on today, so if you guys are interested, this would be a really good combination. And for good measure, <laughs> just a third eyeshadow. They're all neutral, you guys. I can't stop myself from wearing neutral eyeshadow. It's just who I am. Um, but I do sometimes bring along this L'Oreal Paris Color Reach Mono. This is Pano Chocolat. Um, so chocolate croissant, basically, chocolate bread. But this particular shade of this product has good color payoff, and it's a really, like, nice, silky texture. It's one of the best of this brand. So if you are gonna buy this, it's a good option. You probably can't see it very well. It's reflecting a little bit. But I like it for an everyday neutral look. If you don't have a lot of time to spend on your makeup and you don't want to have glossy, but you just want to have a little bit of shimmer to your eyes, this would be a good place to go. All right. You guys, it looks like I carry my entire Flesh collection practically with me every day. These are the Flesh Highlighting Balms. I can't remember the exact name for these because they do get weird for me, but I will put it up on screen right now. I've got Squeeze, which I'll use as an all-over bronzer, and then Pinky, which I'll use as a highlighting shade. You can put these on your eyes. You can use them as a highlighter. However you want to do it is up to you, and that's why I like to take them because they're so versatile. 
You'll notice the theme of versatility within my entire makeup collection here. So in a weird change of events, <laughs> I have included three separate concealers. The first one is the Fenty Pro Filter Concealer. This is one of my favorite fungal acne products. It is high, high pigment. So this one is gonna give you a lot of coverage. Um, I have it in the shade 150, which is actually a little bit too light for me, but one of the reasons I also keep all of these in my bag at all times is because mixing them together is how I get like my unique shade depending on the month of the year, just because my skin tone will change in the summer a little bit. Um, I also keep my tried and true NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. This one is in the shade Natural. It's a little bit too dark for me right now, oddly enough. And then um, this is my Hourglass Veil Retouching Fluid. This is in the shade Vanilla. This is very limited in the shade range, but I like to use this. If you just need to add a little bit of like brightness to your under eyes, you just dab a little bit of this on and blend it in with your finger. It's designed to work that way. So it's a really good like touch up kind of a product to keep around. So anyway, combination of these three, depending on if I'm looking for a matte or a more dewy type of a look, and they all come with me. You guys are gonna be shocked to know that the foundation that I've included in this video is not my beloved Lancome because I'm out of it right now, but I am currently on to my Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. I have like renewed my love for this stuff. It is actually maybe moving into the number one spot in my heart suddenly, just because it's a little bit less mattifying than the Lancome. And I don't know why, it just blends down so seamlessly and it's so much lighter on the skin. So that's why I really love it. I currently am wearing, let me see, the shade 1N. And actually it looks darker in the tube than my skin tone, but it blends out really well onto my face. So I'd say this is a pretty true match for my skin tone right now. Okay, what do we have next? We can't go anywhere, you guys, without some good moisturizing products. I have got my CeraVe Moisturizing Cream, the travel size. I picked these up at Ulta. That's usually the only place I can find them in my area. But um, I always take this because it'll be a good moisturizing base. It's a good hand lotion, good body lotion. You never know what you're going to need this for. If you have static cling on your clothes, you can put a little on your legs and it all calms down. So honestly, a million uses for this. Another great thing that you should always have with you is a little bit of Vaseline. And it's just another good thing for like touch up. You can use it as a hand cream if you need to. You can put it over your eyes to give your eyeshadow a more glossy look. You can put it on your lips at night or during the day as your chapstick, however you want to do it. This is another thing I really don't go anywhere without it. So one product that I always include with me but may or may not use, it just depends on the day, is some powder and this is the Makeup Revolution Banana Powder. I don't love the packaging of this stuff but I do think the product is really good for fungal acne sufferers and it's very affordable. Um, the lid is kind of, it's just teeny tiny, like you can see, like I'll put it next to my eye so you can just tell for size how small it is. And so it is a little bit of a challenge. You have to just get a very small amount and work a little at a time with this stuff. But overall, I'm going to keep using it until the end. And then maybe one of these days I'll actually invest in a different powder with a bigger lid because using your brush with this can be a little bit tricky. Eyeliner, we can't go anywhere without an eyeliner option, and I never talk about eyeliner in my videos, so today is the day. Um, this is the Stila Liquid Eyeliner. This is, I believe they're waterproof as well. It's just a waterproof like ink pen liquid, liquid liner, and this is my favorite one because it really does stay put all day, and it's just really, really easy to use. I find that this works really well if you just if you wanna create like a graphic eye with this, you can, and if you just wanna do like your inner water line on your top lids or something like that, you can as well. So easy, just always have one on hand. And by the way, I did give you guys a hint in my eyeshadows video about how to create colorful eyeliners if you have fungal acne because not very many are available to you. But as far as this Stila range goes, I do believe they have a few other colors and they are all fungal acne safe. So that would be a good option for you guys if you're looking for something that's just really easy. All right, guys, there are four more things, but before I go on to those, I just want to tell you guys right now to go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it, and let me know in the comments below right now if any of the things that I've mentioned so far are things that you have in your everyday makeup routine right now. 
All right, we're gonna finish it off. This product will come as no surprise to you guys. I like to keep my Maybelline Super Stay ink crayon in my bag at all times. I actually do keep this in my purse every single day as well. This is the color Lead the Way. It's my favorite neutral lip. I'm wearing it right now. It gives you that staying power of a lipstick that's matte, but it wears a lot more like a regular lipstick and you don't have to reapply it all the time. So that's why this is like, honestly, even if I didn't have fungal acne, I would probably absolutely love this product. Mascaras, this is another one I get asked about all the time, so I just wanted to say this in this video. There are, to my knowledge, no fungal acne safe mascaras out there on the market, and to be honest with you, I think that's okay. Of course, if you guys want to err on the side of caution, you can. You could wear falsies every day, or you could just curl your lashes and hope for the best. You could maybe even figure out a way to make your own. I've considered that, but it seems really messy and like it wouldn't last very long on your lashes without getting everywhere. So right now what I'm using is my drugstore option, Maybelline Falsies. I always go to this if I'm doing a drugstore makeup. And then my favorite high end right now would be Benefit They're Real. If you do wear the Benefit They're Real, you probably already know it's hard to get off your eyes. If you need a good eye makeup remover that is really sensitive, so it'll take it off without any irritation, I highly recommend the Bioderma Sensibio Micellar Cleansing Water. Such a good option. And I feel like I just have to include this before I get into my brushes. I usually keep a rat tail comb with me just because sometimes I need to tease my roots up because I don't wash this stuff every day. I just think it's a good thing to have and it's a good place to keep it in your makeup bag with all the other stuff. All right, now as promised, I wanted to show you guys the brushes that I take with me everywhere I go. So they're actually pretty simple. I keep mine in this little pouch and there's only one, two, three, four, five, six brushes that I have here. I keep one dense, kind of foundation-like brush, but I don't use it for foundation. I will actually use this to blend in my like creamy bronzer kind of look. So with this flesh squeeze is what I usually do that with. And that way I can just really kind of pat it and rub it around and it works really well for me to diffuse things. I keep this e.l.f. highlighting brush with me. This is my powdering brush usually. So I will use this in conjunction with my Makeup Revolution banana powder. I like to keep another brush. This is literally a fusion brush of some cheap brush that I got from like, I don't know where for Christmas one year on an Alouette base that I fused together because they were too broken in. So this is like the mystery brush, but I use mystery brush for my blush every time that I do use it. So I'll use it with my flesh um, swipe jiggly. And then you guys know this brush well because I use it all the time. They've updated the look, but this is the version I still have the Real Techniques setting brush. I use this as my actual foundation brush so I can get really good coverage where I really want it more concentrated and then just blend it out to the edges. Honestly, you could take six of this brush and you'll have every single need that you have met. It's, it's just such a good diverse brush. Then I will take with me a fluffy tapered blending brush. This is a Sigma I, this is like maybe an E25 or something like that. I'm not, I can't quite remember and it's rubbed off now, but that's what I'll take with me. And then I also like to just take a lip brush with me in case I have any fine tuning or I wanna do a more complicated, like perfect looking lip where it's more lined. So another, I would use this with this or if I took a different color, you know. Um, and then one thing that I forgot to put in here, but that I would take with me as well is a good contouring brush and it would just be a, either a fluffy brush that I could, you know, make the bristles a little flatter on to contour or I have that artist brush that I use all the time for my contour. So I'll usually take that along as well. All right, so if you guys have watched this video and you are wondering what is fungal acne, I am more than happy to help you out with some answers on that. There are links below to my blog where you can find out more about fungal acne. Throughout this video, I mentioned other videos I've made that surround the topic of fungal acne. And if you are just discovering that you actually do suffer from fungal acne and you're looking to fast track your results and clear your skin for good, you can click the link below to download my PDF, which is called From Fungal Acne to Clear Skin Guide and that will give you all the information you need to get on that journey as quickly as possible. Don't forget to come and say hi over on Instagram at Brooks Beauty Bazaar, and if you guys want to shop any of the products that I mentioned today, you can do so in the bar below or by going to brooksbeautybazaar.com and clicking shop at the top. <sighs> Let me start over, okay. All right, so the first item that I picked out of my bag is my Kevin Acola, and it is the Swipe Touch Flesh. No, yeah, swipe flesh. Okay. 
Then I like to keep, oh, I forgot my contour 